In this session, we're going to look at creating a graph in Excel. And what I have here is some demonstration data about expenses claims. And then we have a summary down here for total expenses claims by department. So to start off with, I'm going to highlight the data I want to graph and I just want to produce a graph of the sales team expenditure in these different areas. So I've highlighted the data that I want to graph. I go to my insert menu. And this area in the middle here is graphs. You can either choose a type of graph from this area or you can go to the recommended charts. And what Excel does is it recommends the type of chart that may be feasible for the data that you've highlighted. So I have a clustered column that would look like this. I have a pie chart that would look like this. And I have a bar chart that would look like this. To start off with, I'm going to choose a pie chart because I just have one set of data. And I click OK and you will see that the graph appears on my spreadsheet. With these little round handles, I can click it and move it to a different area to make it easier to see the data if necessary. I can also get my mouse pointer on any of these handles and I can increase the size of my chart. So this pie chart here, because it's one set of data, a pie chart is a reasonable graph to show. It's given me a suitable heading and it's given me a key. And in Excel, this is called a legend. It tells you which field is represented by which color. You will also see here that you have with this graph selected, you've got three different menu types. If I add a plus, if I click the plus sign, it tells me, is there anything else I would like to add? I've got the chart title and I have the legend on. If I click data labels, it will give me the number that is in the data. What you'll also notice is there's a little uh, arrow. If I click that, it tells me there are other options as to how I display my data. Do I want it in the center, inside end, outside end? So you can see as I hover over these, it changes where it puts my data. Let's choose this one, data call out. Anytime I click off my graph, that menu disappears. I click back onto my graph and it comes back again. This one, you can see different layouts that are available. And this one, you can see there are different series. But for what I wanted to show, this graph is perfectly suitable. So now I'm just going to show you another type of graph. I'm going to highlight all of my data. You'll notice I've excluded my totals. Totals shouldn't should either be in a graph on their own or not included. So you can see I've highlighted from A17 to E20. And I want to graph this data now. Go back to my insert menu, go to my recommended charts, and you can see I now have different types of chart. Let's choose this bottom type. And let's just move it so we can see it easily and make it slightly bigger. So in this chart, it's now taken my different departments and it's given me colors for the different types of expenditure. You'll notice with my graph selected, my ribbon has changed. So you can add chart elements from here or here. There are several ways to do the same thing. If you want to change the color block, it's automatically selected this one. You could select any of the others. You'll also notice here there is an icon that says switch row and column. Before we click it, let's just take another look. We have 
groups of data, department along the bottom, and the type of expenditure as the key. If I click that switch row and column labels, you will notice I have types of expenditure as the groups and my departments as the key. So you can always change your chart if the display isn't what you want to see. And you'll notice here on this occasion, it just says chart title. It doesn't know what to put. I can click on it. I can highlight here and put expenditure by department. So the key to doing graphs is highlight the data you want to graph. Go to your insert menu. Choose chart. And then adapt your chart once it has been presented on the spreadsheet.